What is up, guys? It's Opai here, and um, today we're back to some um, King's Aid video. So, um, here currently, um, based on my time, I have um, 23 minutes before the server is set. So, um, what I basically want to say in this video is um, on how can you grind um, your fragments because basically in this game for you to awaken your character um, from 3 star um, 2 star to 3 star 3 star to 4 star etc etc and for you to transcend them you need as uh, fragments and essences well for each essence you need 10 fragments so imagine on um, d5 you need 90 essences of each right so 900 essences of each so this is a way for you to get um get um your fragments. Best way is um by using um dot booster thirty minutes before the server is set. All you just need to do is um know what time is the server will reset. Basically that. And you need to use loot booster as you can see there's a buff of the loot booster and um yeah, as I, as I, as what I did just now, I set the upper dungeon, and um, yes, I'm farming at the chapter 7 upper dungeon, and um, before I, um, one thing that you need to keep in mind is, um, if you don't have the frost artifact, frost giant artifact, <coughs> You need um units so who can clear it fast. Before I tried to go with um Aisha, but she keeps on getting frozen. That's why I changed. I tried Celine, but she does not but she doesn't work. Why? Because the frame of her third skill is um not that uh, not that large. Also as you can see here, Cleo. Cleo's skill number three is really good in here. I don't have any frost giant artifact I didn't uh, I'm not lucky enough to summon it but um, basically yes Prison Cleo is my main in here for dealing damage and Jane for buffing Cleo yep and um, oh yeah you can also get um, fragments and essences and um, fragments of infinity I'll talk about that later um on the tower of ordeals yeah you open the tower of the uh, tower of ordeal once you get one one of your unit to five star oh that yes so basically you need a five star unit and um for you to transcend a unit, you need essences, as I said before, and um, there's what you call Stone of Infinity. Now, what is the Stone of, stone of Infinity? Well, basically, um, on the log in day, I think it's on the day 27, you get one of it, one of it, 26 or 27. Yes, you get one of it. Um, and then, um, if you manage to clear um, the Tower of Ordeals up until floor 25. It gives you an exact amount of 2,000 Fragments of Infinity. Now, what this Fragments of Infinity does is you can craft Stone of Stone of Infinity for two days of duration, or, or you can use Rubies to clear it, but it's not recommended. Um, yes, you need 1,000 of Fragments of Infinity for. Um, for your um, what do you call this? For your sort of infinity, and each fragment of infinity, if you're going to craft them, you will need ten of each fragment. So basically, you're looking at um around uh, since for every craft of every fragment, fra uh, fragment of infinity you gain 70 so basically around um, hmm, 
or 130 to 140 fragments per stone of infinity you can say you can look at it like that so aside from that 140 of each and then um, you, for your essences right now I'm farming on yes as you can see chapter 7 but before this um, I'm also using chapter 7 hell mode for not leveling my unit I have, I'm not leveling anyone anymore but um, right now what I'm doing is I'm doing for the event for the Halloween and um, since I can clear it fast and um, it gives three times um, yes three of those Deluxe potion the 125k yes and um, there's a chance for you to get um, two essences that was what um, made me want to grind on chapter 7 no, it's only a chance, but if you accumulate it on the, on the very long run, you can get many copies of it. And, um, yeah, when chop, as I said before, in here, you're not, you're fully not recommended to use units who have channeling spells without protection, or units that has a very small frame of, on, the DPS. Not I, not I mean that they have only a couple of skill, not that, but the area that their skill will affect them. If it's small, um, don't use it. Oh my god. As you can see, my clay, clay skill number 3 got cancelled by that. Well, I, I could use, uh, I could try to use uh, free, but uh, never mind. Since, um, yeah. So with average, um, I need to do 5 runs every 10 minutes. As you can see, I've already did about um, more than 5. Actually, I'm, I'm near the 10th and I've, I've only spent around 15 minutes. So yeah. Um, what else? Mix is I think good in here as well. And um, uh, what more? You should be um, wary of the time, the limit, because you, you need to um, do the run if you if you want to make it more more efficient and um, safe. You need to. Um, be sure that you can clear uh, one run, uh, a certain set of, uh, one set of keys, five keys, I mean, in 10 minutes. Because it would be wasteful if you can. So, um, yeah. That is the fast way. Oh my god, clear skill number two gaps getting cancelled. Anyways, uh, what am I, where am I? Oh yeah, that's the fast way. Using loot booster 30 minutes before the server is set. However, what if I don't have enough rupees? What if I um, I'm just a free to play that I'm not planning on spending some cash? Well, there's a way for you to get um, those fragments and essences. As I said before, you can farm it on hell mode, but um, another way that you can get there is by um, using 100 rupees per day now how would that work go to your upper dungeon uh, the hardest you can clear regardless of time limits since you would be using loot booster then after that just use um, just use 100 rupees to reset the upper dungeon wise once okay because what i'm doing here is i'm spending 600 rupees for 900 and I repeat, 900 fragments. Now, right now, I'm grinding fragments for. Yeah, this is another thing. When choosing unit to transcend, the, um, for each fragment, there's uh, three corresponding units that, that can use it, right? As much as possible, don't use units that would overlap it. 
For example, what I'm experiencing right now is I want to T4 my my Celine, but I also want to T5 my Luisa. Because Luisa's T5 is good. Very good. And expect for that additional 50% um, increase in her the you know, um, the life that she will be using, she'll get 20% um, cooldown reduction, more spamming of her skills. Plus, with her buff right now, oh my god, that's a miss. Plus, with her buff right now, from 50 seconds to 20 seconds, um, she really is a very viable unit. However, Selene also got her buff, and I'm planning to make Selene as my main physical dealer. In, in, con in all content and as well as um, world boss too so yeah um, what else yeah spending 100 rubies as for a free to play is um, what I would recommend for every day so it would take you 11 days spend 100 Look at this map, okay? For if every day you'll use 100 rubies for for the expense of 1,100 rubies, which is equivalent to what I'm doing right now, two reset per day, as well as using the usage of loot booster, you get an um, amount equal to when you. If I use the loot booster right now, I I as I said, I get um, 900 rubies. However, we don't lose boost, loot booster and took 11 days of it. Spent every day um, setting the upper dungeon once. Then you get at least, um, for example, on chapter 7, when I give the example that I gave 900 S fragments are in the chapter 7. Okay, so if you also farm on chapter 7, you get um, 75 fragments per run so 150 150 per per one reset okay so multiply it by um, 11 you ha you have around more than 1600 right was it correct because you can get 150 per day and multiply it by 11 so that you will be able to compensate what uh, uh what some pay to win or uh, mild pay to win users you can see that um yeah you gain more rupees ah you gain more fragments with that amount of rupees so it's really up to you well I'm, the reason that i chose this method is because i want to transcend my units as soon as possible Yes, but if I'm giving the chance to, um, I have the luxury to not reset, um, to not use the loot booster, I would do so. But um, right now, I have so many units that I want to transcend. There's Celine, there's Teresia, there's Annette. I, I also want to T3 my Frey, just for the attack buff. Cassandra T3 as well. I wanna, I wanna T5 my Demia, okay? Right now, I'm... I'm devoting myself to Demia because the only essence that the knight and the the archer share is basically I have 400 almost 400 of those okay so I really don't think that um, I would lack of it I would um, have a problem with that, but just in case, I'm going to prioritize my DPS first, as I said, well, prioritizing your DPS for Transcendence is the best way, because um, if it, you, you can tank well, if you can heal well, if you can deal out damage, the timer above here with the skull near Sistine's face, uh, once you get to zero, the boss, as you, as you guys know, it'll have a massive buff. They have insane attack speed. Some can't be CC. And um, some, some also um, have dispelling. 
of debuffs. So they can d dispel the debuffs that you put on them. So yeah. yeah. You need to kill them asset. Plus they hit hard. Okay. They hit hard. That's a big. That's the biggest part. Okay. Stop using them. Okay. <coughs> so yeah. Also, you should have um, some time to for you to do Tower of Challenge level 65 times when you use the loot booster. I just keep it out in there because for it's for your uh, um, artifact fragments. Okay, I'm nearing there and I still have a couple of minutes, so I I, I could probably do it. Yeah, most likely I can do it. Um, so yeah, I think that's enough for now, yeah, yeah so remember, you need DPS to burst it down, CC to, or you to not hurt you so much, and um, if you, you can try two dealers, two main dealers, as long as, um, at least I'm here if you're Rodina or example you want to use Rodina if you're gonna use Rodina please please um, think about it before um, if you're Rodina since Rodina is a single target DPS if your Rodina has low star unique weapon or low attack I am um, maybe below 120k I won't advise for you to to be doing this unless you have um, units like a um, Fill up and um, what can else can support Rodina? Miru? I don't know. Miru? <laughs> well, I haven't really um, used Miru nor played with someone who has Miru because um, after the, the T5 patch, everything just went on um, the famous ones. Um, Lias, Frey, uh, Priscilla. Ricardo, it goes on those famous people, famous units. So I haven't really seen anyone with a T5 mirror. Though I, I one of the guildmates are planning to T5 the mirror, so I want I can look at it like that after some time. Also, there's an event in here, just so you know, for fragments. Do, don't forget to do this as it's a seven day thing. If you complete it for seven days, um what the hell? If you complete it for seven days, you can get um seven 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 fragments of infinity. Okay. Oh god, it's so slow. Here, this is seven 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 sent to mailbox, okay. Here, yeah, it's a brief shoot. This, this is what I'm talking about before. Fragment essence of strategy. I have so much strategy, but few of this and this. That's what I'm grinding next. I'm gonna grind this. Uh, I'm gonna go for this, but I'm gonna go for one more round of this round and then round for this. Then I'll probably have a dilemma on which to choose. T5. Melusia or T4 Aisha, um, Salim. Here, here's the fragment of infinity, as I said, 6 R. Stone of infinity, 1000 pieces of this, and for 2 days. The others do doesn't have time limits, by the way. So, yeah. Yep, I think that's all for now. Yep. And thank you. This is Opai Overlord signing off.